Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am One Girl Creates. Now, as I mentioned the other day, I thought I would start a little mini series on pattern drafting software. Um, I have got some and I have used various different forms in the, in the past um, to different levels of success, shall we say. So I thought first thing I would do is run down the programs that are out there that are user friendly. So while you could use something like um, Adobe uh, CAD sort of drawing software, um, it's not user friendly, it is quite hard to use and you need to know about pattern drafting. However, there are programs out there that are um, literally plug in your numbers and it will draft the software or draft the pattern as per your requirements. So I've concentrated on those today. So there are three programs that I either know of or have found. And I have a little bit of piece of paper that tells me all the information. So the first one that I found is something called Cochineal Design Studio. And I will insert um, a little write up at the bottom of the name because obviously some of them might be awkward. So Cochineal Design Studio studio um it does work on both windows and mac which is actually really good not all of the systems do so that's the first thing that's a, a big tick it has got a built-in size range so you don't necessarily need to know if you know that you are a standard uk size 14 or you know that you fit into european I don't know what the sizes are, 34, something like that, or an American, blah, 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 all those sorts of things. Then you can select the size that you have and you may then need to just tweak a little bit for what you normally need to tweak. So if you find that you have a fuller bust than a size 12 or whatever, then you probably could tweak that and do it. I haven't used this system. This is the only one I haven't used, so I can't say that. And there is not a free trial for it. So... You can put in your sizes, it's got built in sizes, but if not, you can just put in your own measurements. It can be used, and again, this is the only one that can be used for this, but it can be used for both sewing and knitting. So it will produce a knitting pattern for you as well as producing sewing patterns. So it will use your gauge and it will plug that in and make it into a jumper or whatever form of knitwear you want. OK, so this is the only one that does that. Um, it can be used for home and professional use, which when you hear the next, one of the ones later on, you will find out actually that is a really good bargain. OK, metric and imperial measurements. So it's used, you can use, you, it can be used worldwide. So obviously in the UK, we're a mixture of both. Some of us are a bit old school. We still know the, the imperial, sorry. Um, but obviously most of Europe is metric, America, imperial. It can be used worldwide. OK, it can be printed on both AO, so the big size, or you can print it at home on your A4 printer. Um, and your one cost includes men, women, children and babies in that price. So the price is two hundred and forty nine dollars. Now, that is a lot of money. Um, but when you think that you then have a system on your computer that you can plug in and you can make designs for yourself or if you wanted to you could make designs for mass production that's actually a really good price like a really good price okay so that's the first one cochineal design studio i've not tried that i'm tempted but it's it's a lot of money to just try it okay the next one that i have tried before and actually i think this is the one that i used to make my jumpsuit is Taylor Nova. Now Taylor Nova is probably one of the most well-known ones that I've heard of and it is an online facility so it can work with both Windows and Mac. Um, it will draft to your size but it also when you make a pattern it has a commercial license so yet again you can use it to sell products. Graded patterns are available so you can sit there and say I want sizes I don't know eight to 16. I'm sure it's not as simple as quite that, but you can you can do that. You can do graded sizes. It has a yardage calculator, so it will tell you how much fabric it's expecting to use. OK, it automatically updates without extra cost. So once you sign it up to this deal, it 
is a one time, no, well, not a one time only charge. You'll, you'll, you'll understand that in a minute, but it will automatically update as you're using it. Again, it's metric and imperial. Again, it can print on AO and A4, but it is only a monthly charge of $29. When you think that you could do for a one-off charge, you could have a play for a month. In fact, I think there is also a free trial for a couple of, for a week or a couple of tries or something. But when you think for $29, if you think about how much you spend on patterns in a month, that's a bargain. Like that is a real bargain. And I must admit, I have been tempted to use that one and to try that one. The third system I is the one that I actually have and I've owned for a very long time and it is by Wild Ginger and it's called, well there's various different options but the one, the basic one that you get is called Pattern Master Boutique. It is a Windows only system. You can run it on Mac but you have to have a Windows operating system on that Mac. So it does discount quite a lot of people. I personally have a Mac, I have got a Windows computer literally for that software and I think for one other thing, and the computer is so old, I'm not upgrading it if I can help it, but it's just there. So yeah, you, you need a Windows operating system in some way, shape or form. It drafts to your body. Um, it is home use only. Uh, so it doesn't give you a commercial license. It's metric and imperial. AO and A4 printing, so again, all the same as the others. However, the cost for the basic software is $225. That does not include retail license, knit, men's or children's wear. You have to pay extra for those added features. So when you consider that the Cochineal Studio, while it was $249, it not only includes retail or commercial use, it includes men, women, children and babies in that price. Whereas for Wild Ginger, you have to pay extra for that upgrade. So the $25 that you're saving, in my mind, is actually not worth it. Now, as I say, I've had this for a very long time. It was because actually at the time, it was the only software I could find on the market. If I was going to go for any of them now, and restart again, I probably would think my safest bet would be Taylor Nova because Taylor Nova is a monthly subscription, $29 and you're done. The upgrades come in within the price because obviously you're paying monthly, it automatically updates. You're not paying extra for anything. I think that for having a go purposes, Taylor Nova is really, really good. That's my own personal opinion. Um, as I say, I made a, um, a jumpsuit or a yeah, jumpsuit out of it and I was really, really pleased with the fit. Um, Wild Ginger, while I've made a few items, there have still had to be some tweaks. Um, and I'm, yeah, I am, I would consider, I would consider changing from Wild Ginger to Taylor Nova for the simple purposes of the fact I can use my Mac computer and I found it better with just the input of my figures fitting for me. That's my own personal opinion. Now, the next episode or the next one I would like to do in this series is showing you through my Wild Ginger thing. I may also try and sign on to my Taylor Nova account and try that and show you that, that as well. So I might do a Taylor Nova and a Wild Ginger. I will not be able to do a Cochineal one because I don't have 249 pounds available to spend. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I love you all on that, but you know, it's a little bit too much money to spend just on one one sort of like episode. However, they are the options available to you. So if you have liked what you've seen, if you found the information so far informative, please, please, please press that subscribe button, hit the like button, ding the bell, and um, look out for the next video in this series. Hopefully it'll be out again next Tuesday. And, um, and yeah, I'll be back soon for Friday Sews. Bye. Bye.